This Sunday, we will find out which college basketball teams will get an invite to go dancing. The teams have been fighting all season long to secure their shot at being crowned a champion. And their path to the crown will be revealed on Sunday. Just as these teams are in pursuit of glory, DraftKings Sportsbook is giving their new customers a shot at royalty with 40 to 1 odds on any college basketball game. All you got to do is bet $5 and DraftKings will pay out $200 in free bets. DraftKings Sportsbook has nearly endless ways to get in on the action. From same game parlays to future betting, feel the sweat with DraftKings now. Even if Sportsbook isn't available in your state, DraftKings is still giving you a shot to win big. Everyone can enter a free pool with $100,000 in prizes. Answer questions like which team will make the tournament and which conference will have the most teams in the tournament. Then stay tuned Sunday night and track your results. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code SMOKE. Throw down just $5 on the college basketball game of your choice and get $200 in free bets if the team of your choice wins. That's code SMOKE at DraftKings Sportsbook. When we uh, fit, found out we were going to uh, have you as a guest, I was thinking, obviously very skilled tactician, but also the, the style you fought with, how well that would translate to social media these days. Oh, man. What is the power of social media and, and what kind of... <sighs> you're already a monster, but could you imagine the, what he was doing It was on social media these days? It would be insane. Knockouts. Everything <laughs> going viral. Nobody never seen people do the things that nah, did. hell no. Not spread out with your hand behind your back. <laughs> right. I mean, it was just... Tarver, it was, I, when you did that to Tarva, he gonna try to do it. Like, you can't do it better than me to knock him down. <laughs> that was Tony. That was, yeah, that was yeah, Tony. Yeah, I mean, Tony, yeah, 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 Tony. Yeah, so it's like, people don't understand. And, like I tell people, this was, you know, one of my favorite point guards is Chris Paul. And the reason I like Chris Paul is because you see these guys do all this M1 stuff on the court against these guys that don't play basketball. You see Chris Paul do entertainment. Gets the best the, of the best. You feel me? Shout out he CP. Doing ball, you Shout feel me? <laughs> he doing things that people on the court against the best player right yeah, now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He doing it right. He breaking out in game time. Yeah. In the playoffs. He don't care. Go between and your legs. So for yeah. a, you feel me? So for a person to be that entertaining at that time, you don't do that then. Like you see guys do stuff in the gym, mm -hmm. but they're not gonna do that in a real fight. They're afraid to try it. This dude doing these things in games, in playoff games. Championship fights. You feel me? That's what means something to me. If you can't do it then, then I don't really care what you can do. Because mm. you can't do it when it counts to make these people be like, whoa, then I don't really care what you do. Mm -hmm. This dude do it in the game. <laughs> he ain't just playing with it, he do it in the game. And that means something to me because for me, my goal was when I watched Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Leonard, these guys entertained you, whether with the foot speed or the hand speed or even the head movement speed. They entertained you. So if I can't be an entertainer and take you further than they took you, then why am I boxing? I don't want to just be another boxer. I want to be a guy that they say, oh, we're fighting? Everybody put everything down. We got to go see we're fighting. Mm -hmm. We don't know what we're might do tonight. That's, <laughs> and that's how it was. You feel me? But that's how it's, which is why I'm trying to tell you that those other guys, they can't do that. They make you lucky mm -hmm. and beat me one night, but they can't hold that crowd like I can. I get it. That crowd didn't care who I was fighting. They come to see. Mm -hmm because they know we're going to do something that we're not going to mm -hmm. forget, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We're going to give us an ooh-ah moment somewhere in there. We ain't going to be bored, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, we ain't going to be bored. Up. We know we're going to give us something. Yeah. That's just who we're was. Straight up. November 2020, you step back in the ring. Luke mentioned something. about he felt like it was his two uncles fighting at the barbecue, but to me it was similar. <laughs> like my two favorite boxers in the world are about to fight. Like I'm excited about the idea, but I'm just like, I don't want to see these motherfuckers hurt each other, man. So... Thoughts on how that all came about and, and what made you uh, get back in the ring? Hold on, before, before you start, OG, let me just, just let me say this. I was worried. <laughs> I was too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Right, we good? <laughs> hey, we was on the same. Hey, we was on the same sheet of music. <laughs> this dude over here, man, twenty pounds heavier than me. He really heavier than that to me, but he twenty pounds heavier than me. He ain't screwed on tight. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what he might come in here and do. Then they say, yo, that's smoking weed before you come out there. I'm like, oh, no. You don't know what you might have to do. You understand me? You don't know what might happen. So when I heard about it, I said, listen. They saying, y'all can't be out there trying to kill each other. What else do he know? That's all he know. What else do he know? If he trying to hit you like he going to be trying to kill you. That's all he know. <laughs> so first time he been in the chest, I feel like a horse that keep us. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> if, I, if I ain't had a gun, I'd like, Mama, you sure I should have did this? <laughs> I just do a dick and punch. I ain't think he punched like this. Still, you feel uh, me? I yeah. think he slowed down. Nah, bro. I ain't slowed down. Like, then I get in front of him and I see him doing all this. Stuff. I say, oh, I'm going to kill, I'm gonna kill that. I throw a throw a punch. He slipped all of them. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> at 54, he's still that fast? He's still slipping them? You feel me? He's still slipping all my stuff. And I'm I'm right now, because I, I got to be right just in case he get wrong, and we're going to get wrong together. You feel me? <laughs> I'm thinking, you understand me? But, man, this dude's still fast as I don't know what. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, wow. He's fast here, and he punched that here. Then, mm. I think I hit him with a left hook or something. We got close, and he took his glove. Ran the lace up my face. I said, oh, dirty son of a son. <laughs> I, I, I see you, Mike. I see you still got game. All right, I'm good. They say, you going to do it again? No, I ain't doing it no more. Because if you do it again, it's going to get bad. You know what I'm saying? Because this dude, this dude, first of all, he's still too strong. He still got all his old tricks, and he's much harder to hit than I ever thought he would have been. Mm. You understand know what I mean? That's what was surprising to me. I thought for sure. He said, I, listen, I teach guys. A man with his hands this close to his face, you're supposed to kill him. And I'm thinking, oh, he ain't got to change my hands too fast. Man, Mike was slipping my stuff so quick. I was like, ah, okay, I see why you might taste that guy. <laughs> I remember the interview afterwards, and you looking at him like, like, come on, bro, we ain't doing this again. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've been my chip so for three days. Like, oh, bro, I'm through with them days. I ain't got no good. Hey, you know how you, know how you feel? You go back and work out for it or play a game or two, you be like, man, I'm through with them days, bro. Yeah. I'm through with them. I ain't supposed to be feeling mm-hmm. like this no more. Mm-hmm. My reels hurting them three and three and four. Every time I lay, I got to crab myself. <laughs> nah, bro. Enough is enough of that. They ain't paying me enough of that. Oh, man. Describe Mike in a few words. Entertaining, crazy, funny, deceptive, because he's everything Everything you think about Mike is usually the opposite. Mm-hmm. Everything you think about him is much more intelligent than yeah, people, people think Yeah, very for. intelligent. You know, very, very intelligent guy. So, that, and, and he a good dude, man. He, he, he really, he's really deep down inside, he's really a good dude. He got a lot of bad raps, but he's a good dude. He's way more gentle than people think. He is. You know what I'm saying? Also, but he also, but now he do have a switch. He can snap. Yeah. And a heartbeat go. When he ran a glove my damn face, I was like, son of a... <laughs> we, we ain't signed up for this, son. No, we ain't signed up for this. <laughs> you cheating now. Ain't nobody say you got to be cheating. We probably do an exhibition. What you cheating for? <laughs>